Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Ungrateful woman gets surprised with a new car. Let's get it. Come on outside, check out your brand new car. Yeah. Hey. And look, come follow me right quick. Well, follow us, you know what I mean? So I what, did, what my man did for you, Dave, was actually. Got your brand new, Audi. Brand new car, you know what I'm saying? Wow. I'm holding it down, you know, I brought this out of love for you, you know what I'm saying? Sure, too. Yeah. Yeah, that is right here. Yeah. Nice. Look at the color, look at the shine on this thing. Got you the S-line. Yeah, the S-line on that thing, you know what I mean? Got the LED daytime running lights. You hear this, man? Come on, now. Back up, you Good car. Everything. Good car. Man, Don't worry about that. Worry about that. They, they, I promise we're going to wash. We're, we're not going to wash the car. Hold on. Did I just hear a complaint? Strike number one. Strike number one. <laughs> Let's keep watching. You're not going to jump in the dirty car. Come on now. Check out the inside. Yeah. Get in that thing. You like it? How, how it fit? You like it? It's small. There you go, bro. All right, guys, let's be honest here. At what point? This is the point that he should have just given back the keys and walked away. Right here. Right here was the moment he was supposed to hand those keys back and walk away fast, not slow. Ungrateful. It's too small. Is it too small or are you too big? But you don't like that coffee. This coffee smells like shit. Let's keep watching. What's wrong with the car, bro? What'd you say? Man, my friends can't even much fit up in here. Come on, bro. You want about you and your friend? I bought this for you, man. This, this, this is for you, bro. Like, it's a roof. It's a roof right there. What but you talking about? You can give me like the Q5. I have to move. I can see that. Man, look, man. You want about everything that's around you? Look what's in front of you. Guys, f fellas, listen to me. Comment down below. At what 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 point would you have like just said, you know what, f this and just walked away? At what point? Would you have done all this? Because I'm like, bro, you still trying to convince this chick to be grateful? Come on, man. I just spent almost 30 k on this car. Come on, man. You can't even say thank you. You just want to say to complain. Like, come on, man. It's an 18. Aren't you on a 20? Don't worry about what I'm in, baby. I, everything you see me with, see? I work hard for. Huh? That's for you, man. Look, we ain't thing at least, bro. It's for me. That's for you. Everything for you. What my name is? I should go with the name and stuff like this that, dog. Name. All right, so that's cool, but but me. the car is for you. The car is for you. It could be in my name, but the car is for you. All right, that don't matter. At least I bought you a car. Just bought Ari a brand new Lambo. You talking about famous people? They rich. They they go. Lambo. You act like you famous. Man, look, man, look, man. You want you want you want about the all the wrong. You want about all the wrong things, dog. You you fucking man. Red for son. You serious right now, dog? You just really serious? You not even gonna hunk the horn or nothing? See how it sounds? Nothing. You want about the dirty. They ain't got no dent, it's a brand new car. What is you talking about? Let me see, I can't see what that bougie. Is. Are you serious right now? She's there for the money, bro. Man, no, bro. You got man, no, nah, son. Dog, but the car is for you. You want to buy your name or not? You want to buy this dirt or not? I know they're going to fix that shit. Huh? Till man day come, and then you going to take it from me? I ain't even like that, man. You serious, right now? So look, so look, answer this question. Answer. You don't want the, you want the car? Do you want the car or not? 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 Are you serious? Tragic. 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 Ungrateful. Take the car back. Give it to somebody else who would appreciate it. Anything else. At this point, she doesn't deserve the car at all. That's the problem with gifting women things being too good to women when they haven't earned it right um and also dealing with women who are just too ungrateful let's finish this video off uh bro say say brother anyway i get my, my uh my refund or anything like that back but like a couple of dollars we don't have a, re we don't have a really? refund policy At 18. My, my birthday coming up anyway so we, 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 all right guys so there you saw it for yourself we have the most ungrateful woman um I've seen in a long time here in this situation. There are a few things worse than dealing with an ungrateful woman. Simple questions she could ask herself are, yes, he could buy you a Lambo, but can you buy yourself the car that he got you? The car that you think isn't that great? Can you get that for yourself? Because if you can't, it's still a good gift. Even if you can, you still should be grateful, right? This is the type of woman who 
when it's all said and done, will take this man for everything that he has. If you're ever in a situation and you do something good for a woman, right, you give her a gift and she complains when you actually put effort into it and she's this entitled and ungrateful, you need to run away. You need to cut her off. And that's what I would suggest to the guy in this video. This is the problem when it comes to like leading with your wallet. A lot of the times, like, why is that woman with you? Is she mostly with you for your resources? Yes, that matters. That matters. Because now she has unrealistic expectations when it comes to your relationship because her relationship with you is solely or mostly based on what resources she can obtain from you. It's a dangerous woman. Dangerous woman. And, you know, it seems like he's slightly aware he didn't put the car in her name at the end of the day. You will never be able to please an ungrateful woman. You shouldn't even keep an ungrateful woman around you. There are guys out there who don't understand this and they'll keep these women who complain because, oh, it's exciting. I like that she has an attitude, right? But they're the ones shedding tears. They're, they're the ones crying once they decide to actually lock that woman down and she leaves with half his shit. And the other problem with ungrateful women is an ungrateful woman is more prone to step out of the relationship. She doesn't value your relationship. She values what you can do for her, right? She views you as that beta male provider. The relationship you have, the connection you have with her is strictly transactional. She's with you mostly because of what you can provide for her via your resources, not because of who you are. She's not actually attracted to who you are. So the moment that she runs into a man who triggers those primal instincts in her and she finds him irresistible, she's going to cheat. She's going to leave you. She's going to step out. Don't deal with ungrateful women. Listen, guys, as always, curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you guys for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, man. I'm out. Peace.